Hello and welcome back to the vlogs. My name is Ryan and I make videos every single Wednesday and Sunday and I post them at 6 p.m. And on this miserable day, the renovation project continues. I swear, nothing is ever simple when it comes to DIY renovation. You're always held back by delivery delays or the weather. But we have come leaves and bounds with the extension, as you can see a bit of a blob sticking out there. In the last vlog, I started setting up the electrics for that room, which I'm gonna go through again later on in the vlog because there's some changes I wanna make. But since we've been gone, there's been paving put in. We had a slight issue with this leaking through because it wasn't like filled in properly there, but we've now got that all packed out. And I think we have prevented any more water coming through this section of the building. We've also used expanding foam underneath the framework here to keep it all weatherproof and stop water running in underneath, as well as up there. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it gets the job done. So the first thing on today's jobs is to get rid of this and trim it all down so we can actually continue this paving all the way around, which means making lots of trips up and down bringing this event to the house. And I realize this might not actually seem that far, but I don't think I've ever actually shown you a walk up the path to get to where like the garage is at the top and where we park the cars. So we go all the way up this winding path. We've got the extension of the garage here and then the carport where we park all the cars. And I think we might have a little bit of an assessment of this in an upcoming vlog. I would love to like start a vlog and finish a vlog with like a series of videos where, you know, the conservatory from beginning to end. However, with like delivery delays and like getting materials and stuff like that. And you know, it's, it's very time consuming as well as having time restraints. It's quite difficult to like post conservative vlog, conservative vlog, conservative like, like that over and over and over again. And I want to fit the ceiling and finish the lighting, but the delivery people, because of the nature of where my nan lives, will not bring the wood up to the top of the hill to get dropped off. So it's a bit complicated having to deliver it to where my mom lives about 50 minutes away and I have to put it on a trailer to bring it down here. It just, it's a headache. Slowly but surely, we will get there with the conservatory project and I'll keep you posted with any updates and changes. But I think it's safe to say that after today's vlog, it's gonna become quite stagnated and like, it might be a couple of weeks until you see an update with the conservatory. But right, with most of this trimmed down, I think it is time to mix some cement. But before that, I completely forgot that in order to use the cement, I need to bring the slabs down, which are up the top here. A lot of trips later, the slabs are down. Now we can mix the cement and we're gonna do it as a family. Make the pipe and then we need to make a little hole in the middle. Okay. This. And then we just put some water in. Yeah. Like that. And then, then we mix it together. And then we've got to cover the water up. It won't do anywhere. Now that we have got the cement all mixed up, we need to start moving it down <coughs> here. When we're laying these slabs, the basic premise is, is to have the fall coming away from the building. So when we put the level on it, you'll see the bubble goes over slightly here and it's because we want it to fall down. So any water comes down, it flows down into here. But we've done two slabs, we've already run out of cement, so I need to make some more. All right, we have made about half the progress. We're halfway there. I'm just doing the end piece now, like here, and then we're gonna run another line that goes all the way back down there. Cause we've still got, I don't know, like five there. And I think there's one still up at the top. Every now and again, it keeps like showering and I'm getting a little bit wet, but uh, I've never done this before. And I'm actually kind of enjoying it. Got all the random little tools to straighten out the edges and stuff, which Jess has been doing because I hate 
fiddly things, but we're getting there. However, I think it is time for a bit of a lunch break. And nothing like a Tesco meal deal. And with lunch consumed, it's time to carry on slamming. And I know you guys love time lapses. I would just show before and after, but everyone wants a time lapse. So let's jump straight into it. Job all, almost complete. We, we may be uh, a couple of slabs short, but we have got it all done for now. Considering it's my first time ever doing that, I think it actually turned out all right. Now it is time to talk about the electrics in here. So originally I put two fuse boxes up there, one for the lights and one for the sockets, and they were both gonna go into separate sockets in the house to basically connect them both to the mains. However, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have a 13 amp uh, fuse in one of them to feed all the sockets and then I'm going to basically feed off the sockets back to that fuse box with a 5 amp on it for all of the lights. That way only one of the fuse boxes actually go into the mains of the house. However that may all be avoided when I start going into the sockets in the house to see how the circuit is. Now I will say this obviously I mentioned this in the last vlog but the electrics inside the house are like from the 1900s and they've been kind of put together by my granddad and a lot of DIY over the years so trying to find like a main connection to the fuse board is difficult and I'm not an experienced electrician uh, but I have spoken to many electricians and I'm going to avoid messing with the fuse board uh, and trying to connect out of that otherwise that's what I would do normally that's probably the best way to do it is to run straight out of the fuse board and put up like apply new power straight to the conservatory but I'm not skilled enough to do that all I'm going to do is spur off a socket that I know is safe to do. The other concern comes from what's going to be going into the sockets in there and I'm aware that the FCUs are only holding 13 amps in them because of like the fuses that go inside uh, and the only thing that are really going to be plugged into the sockets out here is probably like a phone charger and maybe a TV there won't be any like big appliances plugged into it at any point uh, and it's just a couple of lights so I should be fine to run it all off that FCU that's coming out the main house and then as I say downstream I'm going to be adding a 5 amp like FCU to supply the lights and it should all just be perfectly normal. So thanks to the splitter that I put in there I'm going to run a cable from that all the way down to the FCU I put in last week and with that new wire plugged into this FCU all the lights should be running off this fuse. All the stuff to do is connect into the house. So I'm going to uh, take a socket off the wall that has been there for a very long time and see what we're dealing with. Well it's not good news. It looks like I've broken into the middle of a circuit. The wires come down into this socket and then they go up and off again somewhere. And after a bit of a history lesson of my mum and my nan, it turns out all the wires go upstairs and they feed the rooms upstairs. Essentially coming out of that corner there and going all the way around and then ending up right next to that window. Now fortunately, recently my nan had a new boiler and stuff fitted in upstairs and they put a hole through the wall to feed outside. So this big old thing right here, and it goes through the wall, then it comes out and goes all the way across there and into the house. So after using some rods and a bit of persuasion, we put a wire straight through there. And now instead of using two FCUs, what I'm doing is going straight into the circuit to the sockets, and then the FGU there can go off to the garage later on, and this one can still be used for the lights. But right, it's time for the moment of the truth. Using this probe, it should tell me if it is live. So if all the lights work, in theory, the sockets should too. And it does. Don't know why I said that weirdly, but it is all wired up and good to go. Now you may find in old houses like this, if you have one or you're looking to buy one, that the wiring inside will be red, black, and then the earth wire. And I'll basically, I'll put a little chart up here to see what correlates, but it's worth knowing that when you're going from old wiring to new wiring so you know what to uh, to plug into. But I do need to give a massive shout out to Daz who actually helped me out a ton. He's an electrician, really nice guy. He was so helpful with like showing him my diagram, showing what I'm working with and help me to figure out what I should be doing to make sure it was all done properly because I didn't want to half-ass it uh, and I was kind of just going off knowledge that I'd learned via Google but there were certain things that you kind of need to speak to an electrician first before you undergo something like this. Spurring off a socket is fairly easy and simple but as I said I want to do it in the safest way possible because it's mainly going to be my nan here. Well, obviously my nan's going to be here all the time. I'm not going to be here around the clock to see when a fuse goes or anything like that so 
all good in the hood shout out to all of the other shout out to all of the other electricians as well because they were very helpful but daz i owe you a drink but with all of the wiring now done in the conservatory there is just lots of like little jobs left to do like the flooring needs to go down which uh my sister's partner is going to be fitting that when i'll be working and stuff like that so i can't film it but i'll show what it looks like when it's finished in a few vlogs in the future i need to come back and i need to fit all the ceiling panels up to the ceiling and then obviously drill holes so i can put some light fittings in we got some spots there that are gonna go there there and then one in the middle up there because i've used quick wires t connections it's really easy of just clipping them in and they should just work and then we'll be able to seal this back in because i'm pretty sure that the damp has been solved by padding out the corner with expanding foam. Then once all of that is finished, it's just a case of painting things and tidying up. But with the conservatory basically done for now, because it's gonna be a few vlogs away until we get all the wood and the materials to carry on doing that, let's go take a look at the garage and see what the what kind of damage is in there and, and where we need to go next. Well, the, the first thing I need to fix is the door handle, but the bloody door doesn't open. But with a handy tool, uh, I am now in. I'm going to get locked in here if I'm not careful. Right. <laughs> panic there because i get locked in here forever otherwise okay what are we looking at here this is the main garage that we'll need to be converting i need to take all the ceiling down and fix the ceiling and the thing's growing out of it so it's gonna be really fun going up there and then the next thing we're gonna have to do is take down this stud wall that my mom put in because she put a new door in to kind of create like two rooms and move it forward to where the garage originally went. That right there is the corner and it kind of goes around here. So there's a massive entrance here. But my main goal is to basically empty it all, completely clear it all out and restore the garage to its original state. Then after we fix the ceiling and we know it's all safe and like damp proof and stuff like that and nothing can get in through the ceiling, I'm gonna go through the walls. I'm gonna basically put plaster and like insulation on the walls to kind of make sure it's all safe and sound inside. Build up a brand new stud wall, or I might use a shutter actually, that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, build up a new stud wall here to put a secure new door in place. This is gonna be a lot of work and many, many, Many vlogs will kind of take place for this because it's going to take a while. I mean, the first thing I'm going to do is demolition and getting rid of everything that's in there. Fortunately, my mum has built like a bit of an extension in here because she used to grow chickens and whatnot. So uh, there's lots of chicken coops and stuff. Uh, and this will probably come later down the line of clearing this out and uh, kind of making this all feel fresh and new again. And then down this end is where my granddad used to uh, have a little greenhouse and, and grow stuff. Uh, but there's loads of white goods that need to go to... Uh, the council the council are going to come and collect it uh, so that needs to all come out as well but yeah i've seen some garage conversions but this this takes the biscuit and on that note i'm going to wrap up today's vlog uh, i do apologize if it was a little shorter than usual i had a lot of stuff planned that i was going to do i was going to do a ceiling and finish the lights in today's vlog but unfortunately you know you can't make it up with deliveries and stuff like that it's just a pain in the ass You're kind of waiting on other people so it is it is what it is, these things happen. Uh, I will say this, with the garage and when we start that project next, uh, the vlogs will probably, I don't know if be longer, but they'll be a lot, a lot easier for me to film because I don't have to worry about like, who's gonna be in there, if anyone else is doing the work, because obviously with the conservatory, there's lots of family members helping out and some of them don't wanna be on camera or like some of them are doing stuff whilst I'm also doing things. So it makes it really difficult for me to film that. Uh, and obviously I'd like to film everything from beginning to end. So I'm sorry the conservatory has been a bit here, there and everywhere, but working with what we've got. This, however, it's going to be a big project. So if you like DIY and you're looking forward to me cracking on with that, then make sure you hit subscribe if you're new here. We're on the road to 25k. I'm trying my best to keep the DIY vlogs and stay doing one thing. But obviously I like to film my life and what we get up to. And I have a huge trip coming up soon, which is going to be really, really exciting to do. And uh, some cool, cool announcements that I can finally share. I've waited so long to talk about them. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. But I keep saying it, it's, it's, it's going to be a hell of a task to take on. I'm looking forward to it. And if you are too, and you've enjoyed this video, then please do leave it a thumbs up rating. I would appreciate that. But as always, guys, it's been Orion. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, much love. Bye-bye.